Semi-final matchup between UAlbany and UMaine went the way of the Black Bears as they punched their ticket to the America East Championship on Friday. Brian Sackbull, Sandy Thomas with you from Orono, Maine, where the Black Bears pick up that 67-47 victory over the Albany Great Danes, and they move on to that championship matchup as we get a chance to look at the America East brackets here. As with one ticket already punched, UMaine moves forward, and they will be hosting that matchup, as we alluded to, Sandy, on Friday, March 12th, 5 p.m. Eastern Time, right here in Ordo on ESPNU, as they'll await their opponent in either UMass Old, the number three seed, or number two seeded Stony Brook Seawolves. Yeah, and I think it's, it's as Maine stands, um, it won't make a difference to them who they're playing. They just want to get into the championship game. They missed out on it last year, as well as Stony Brook. I'm thinking, say, thinking the same thing. Right. But UMass Lowell right now is playing very good ball at this point in the season. Well, the Black Bears early on gave up some points. U Albany looked very, very strong, but then the three-point shooting started to hit for the Black Bears. Along the way, Maine started to really find their form, working a good mix of inside and out. You see that three-pointer there for Kiera Frames. The senior had a pretty nice day from beyond the arc, but the Black Bears a little too much to handle. Yeah, I think U Albany came out of the locker room at the beginning of the game. They were stroking some nice shots and took an early lead, but they struggled in the second half to score, as they've had trouble all season long doing that as far as scoring points, especially in the second half. But Maine came out of the locker room, too, and they started just playing like they can do very right. well. They just play easy. They play not to push things and not to take shots that they shouldn't be taking. They always take good shots, and they always find those open shooters. Just to put in perspective, Sandy, Maine was on top by 10 points at the break, then outscored you all, Benny, 24 to 13 in that third quarter alone. Blanca Milan held scoreless in the first 10 minutes, really picked it up as she ended the day with 17 points and makes it again once more as this Maine team is continuing to play strong, makes it to their sixth straight title game appearance. Of course, didn't get to play in the championship game last year, but hoping to get win their third straight championship matchup as well. And the final stats, I should say, rather, uh, a lot of shots being taken by Maine, and the turnovers really sticking out to me for you, Albany. Well, to see that they scored 33 points on three-point shots, and mm. they stayed with Albany. They did a good job staying with them on the rebounds situation. And, the, and what they did, too, is they took those rebounds and they scored off those rebounds. But 22 assists. Uh, that's just amazing, and that's part of their offense as far as getting it down low, making you double down on them, and again, kicking it out to those three-point shooters. And Albany's 17 turnovers definitely hurt them because Maine scored some points off those turnovers. So for you, Albany, it'll end their season. They'll finish with a 7-11 overall record. And for the Black Bears, they move to 17-2. and But more importantly, they get a chance to punch that ticket and host that championship game against either Stony Brook or UMass Lowell. It was a great game for a couple Black Bears. Blanca Milan leading the way with 17 points. Just one rebound shy of a double-double. Dorsar and Ann Simon both with 13 points also in the winning effort. Yeah, and I'd like to just applaud the young lady from uh, U Albany, the senior Frames, who just had a, a great game for herself this year. And again, she's had another... Uh, good career, you Albany, and the freshman Cooper did a good job at, at 10 points and five rebounds. But it ended as a Black Bear victory, 67 to 47, as they will be one half of the championship game coming up on Friday, and you can watch that game on ESPNU at 5 p.m. here for more now.